the next step in order to set up our sign uh, chuck here is to calculate out or to, to add up the gauge blocks. We figured out we needed two and a half inches worth of gauge blocks. Now, that's a pretty easy number to come up with. Uh, we come over here to our gauge block selection and uh, Mr. Dugan here is going to show us where the two inch and the half inch blocks are. He's going to get those and he's going to ring them together. The ringing process is where we take the gauge blocks and we clean off the ends. They have such a nice uh, smooth ground finish that when we rub them together they're actually going to stick so that you can see they won't fall off. You can hold them upside down it doesn't fall off. Uh, that's ringing them together. Now that was a fairly easy one. We picked the two inch and we picked the half inch. What if we had a, a number though that was a little bit different, like 1.631? Well, in order to figure something like that out, we would have to come over to our gauge blocks and we would have to find gauge blocks that add up to that number. Well, we know we have 31 thousandths here at the end. So if we look through our block, or our box, we see that we have 131 right here. We have 131 thousandths. So if I subtracted minus 131 off of what I have here, I end up with 1.500. So then I look for blocks that are 500, one inch. I would use a 500 block. That takes me down to a one inch left. And I would use a one inch block. So the three blocks it would take to make this up would be a one inch block, a half inch block, and a block that was 0.131 thousandths. I would stack all three of those up to get my final size. So that's what we're going to use right here is our two and a half inches that are stacked up to set up our sign chunk. Now the next step in the process would be to set up our sign chuck uh, to get ready for grinding. 